Just like any other teenager with free access to the internet, I started watching those dirty videos on the internet when I was about 12. I first discovered how to satisfy myself at that age and only found out about seat retention when I was well into my second year in my bachelor's. Needless to say, I was drained both physically and mentally by the time I discovered seed retention, and despite going through hundreds of different articles, blogs, videos, and books about self-improvement to help me get back on track in life, I just couldn't do it. And how could I? I ruined my mind and my physical ability by starting to satisfy myself right from when I was 12. Who does that? That's the age where you're supposed to play with toys, not with yourself. I used to self-satisfy at least three times every day when I was young, and even when I was extremely busy in university, I took the time out to do it once every single day. This was also the period where I was at my weakest. I was so depressed during that time. Happiness was a long forgotten memory, and I was just a mindless drone filled with anxiety and lethargy. Motivation and discipline were foreign concepts to me. I looked it up more and discovered the concept of seed retention. After reading more on seed retention, I realized that excessive self-satisfaction was in fact the cause of my troubles. From that moment on, I decided that I'm going to avoid anything even remotely related to it. From that day onwards, I started practicing seed retention. I avoided dirty content everywhere even movies and shows that were not necessarily bad, but had some small dirty scenes I avoided. I focused on distracting myself with things like working out, studying, reading, meditating, and what not in order to resist my urges. I also grew closer to the divine. It was evil that was plaguing my mind, and I needed God's help to free myself of it. Now, seed retention won't completely take away your urges. When I say that it will save you from being addicted to the dirty videos on the internet, I don't mean to say that it will stop you from getting urges at all. But the urge to spread our seed is much different than the urge to watch those videos. The former is a much more natural thing, whereas the latter is unnaturally strong. The advantages and benefits of seed retention are much more important. Let's talk about some of the benefits. The most obvious one is the increased energy. When you practice seed retention, you start to store the excess seed energy inside of you. After about a month or so, you will start to feel an increase in your total endurance. Sure, your peak energy might stay the same, but you'll find yourself being able to sustain your peak for a much longer amount of time. The second benefit that you get from seed retention is the increased focus. As the fog clears in your mind, you will be able to think with more clarity and focus on things for longer without being distracted. The reason most of us don't complete our tasks is not because our flesh is too weak to do it. It's because we're too lazy to do them. Number three, easier social interactions. After seed retention, you will find newfound confidence within yourself. This will help you be much more relaxed in social interactions. Number four, eye contact. It will become easier to maintain eye contact with others, especially women. Number five, having an increased capability to empathize with others. As you practice seed retention, you become more compassionate and kind. This is probably due to the fact that you start to see people as, well, people. After your own journey to save yourself from evil, you realize that other people have similar problems to you, and thus you will find yourself being able to empathize more with them. Number six, after a month or two on seed retention, your personality will start to change. You will feel more comfortable in your own skin, and so you'll be much more confident in interactions. Your skin will begin to glow, and people will notice. This isn't just placebo, as I've personally noticed this happening after I began seed retention. People would just randomly come up to me and greet me, whereas before people mostly avoided me. Number seven, better hair growth. This is pretty self-explanatory. Since you're no longer under the stress and pressure of what previously plagued your mind, your mind will be much more relaxed, which in turn will cause less hair fall. Number eight, becoming more ambitious. Previously, my mind was too preoccupied with depression and lethargy that came from being an addict to evil. But after quitting, I found myself with a purpose in life again. 
I knew that there's more to life than this and that I had to chase after my ambitions if I wanted to succeed in life. Number 9. Life got a whole new meaning. I realized the worth of the smaller things in life. All of my senses were restored to what they were, and I started to feel more present and grounded in reality. Number 10. This is similar to the previous benefit, but instead of applying to life, it applies to people. Before, I always thought negatively of people. I was always cynical about them. Even if someone was nice to me, I kept thinking why they're being nice to me. I thought they wanted to use me for something. But after practicing seed retention and clearing my mind of these evil thoughts, I found myself seeing things on a more positive note. Number 11. Better luck with women. Thanks to the increase in confidence from seed retention, I started being much better at interacting with women. I could maintain eye contact easier. I could make them laugh easily, and they felt more comfortable around me too. This is likely due to me seeing them as people and possible friends rather than just objects to satisfy my urges. And last, but not the least, improved pelvic floor muscles. This might not seem important now, but you'll thank yourself when you aren't wetting yourself when you're in your 60s, because these are the muscles that prevent that from happening. If you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and take a look at the other videos on the channel. Why not like the video too? It will greatly help the channel.